Welcome to November Yellow Jackets and this is our November update. Uh, several things I want to touch base on here as we're going into November 1st. As the weather's getting cooler, I want to remind all students about pullovers and jackets. If you have something that pulls over your body it needs and it has a hood on it, it needs to have a zipper from top to bottom. If anything has a hood, it needs to have a zipper top to bottom. Anything that's a hoodie without a zipper is not allowed by our, uh, by our dress code policies. Pullovers, solid blue, solid white, uh, or anything issued by Denim Springs High School. And again, that does not include hoodies. Just want to make sure you guys remember that so that when you are trying to dress for the cooler temperatures, you come to school without having to get bothered for a dress code violation. Uh, next, we are now a little more than halfway through our football season. And as we're looking forward to our next few games here against Live Oak and Walker and Scotlandville, I also want to recognize our uh, teams that are going to be starting competitions soon. Soccer will be beginning here in the next week or so. Uh, basketball also will be beginning uh, here in the next week or so. Uh, I also want to give a big congratulations. Over the weekend, our swim team had their meet at, in Baton Rouge, and all of our swimmers did very well. Several of them qualified for the state meet coming up. I want to really give those guys a good congratulations and good luck on our swim team as they prepare for their state meet here coming in, uh, over the Thanksgiving holidays. Also, congratulations to our cross-country team on their season they had this year. Um, they did some really great things, a lot of personal records from some of our runners are uh a couple of our boys performed real well, and we had one that took uh, first place at the parish meet at Walker. Uh, so congratulations to those guys. Um, the big next big thing that we have here is about student grades. Students, I really want to encourage you that if you are looking at your grades and you're struggling in some classes, the time is now to get with your teachers and to talk to them about what you need to do to bring up your grades, uh, old assignments that you may need to turn in that you have not turned in, anything that you can do to help improve your standing in that class, you need to start doing that now. The key here is communication. Talk to your teachers. Let them know you're concerned. Ask them what you're missing if you don't know already. Get your work turned in. It's almost too late for some of this, so don't wait any longer. If you wait till after the Thanksgiving holidays to check in on some of those grades, it's too late at that point, so we need to get on top of that now. Um, kind of along that line, it's important, students, to keep yourselves healthy. As we're moving into the cooler months, seasonal flu and cold comes back into play here, too on top of what we're currently dealing with with the coronavirus. So make sure that you're keeping yourselves healthy when you are sick, if you're sick and you're at home, whether it's from being quarantined or if you have strep or the flu or anything else, make sure you're keeping up with your classwork through Google Classroom. It's important to keep up with your work so that when you come back from whatever illness you may have, you're not far behind. You still have a good idea of what's going on, you're keeping up, and you don't find yourself in a hole that's almost impossible to get out of. So use the Google Classroom to keep up with assignments whenever you're missing school. And that could be for any reason. Whatever your absence is, get on Google Classroom, take care of your assignments so that when you do come back to school, you're caught up, mostly caught up with what you need to do in, in your classes. Um, guys, it's been a wild ride this semester. I just want to encourage you to keep up doing your work and make sure that you stay in communication with us and your teachers and, and get a plan of study. Put together a plan of attack for what you have these next five or six weeks of school this semester and execute that. All right, Don't wait. Come Come at it with a plan, get the job done, and we'll get into the Thanksgiving holidays and we'll get into the Christmas holidays with, a, with, with good feelings about how we finished out this semester. Guys, I look forward to seeing you all again in December. Uh, if you guys have any questions, give me a holler. Thank you very much. And as always, it's a great day to be a Yellow Jacket.